David Beckham was the poster boy of England heading into the 1998 World Cup in France. He had scored a stunning goal from the halfway line against Wimbledon in 1996, won the PFA Young Player of the Year award and the Premier League title with Manchester United, and got engaged to pop star Victoria Adams, Akaposh Spice. But his image and reputation were shattered in one moment of madness against Argentina in the last 16 of the tournament. Beckham kicked out at Diego Simeon after being fouled by him and was sent off by referee Kim Milton Nielsen. England went on to lose the game on penalties and were eliminated from the World Cup. Beckham became public enemy number one in England, with the media and fans blaming him for the defeat. He was vilified as a silly boy who let his country down, received death threats and bullets in the post, and had his effigy burned outside pubs. He was also mocked for his fashion choices, such as wearing a sarong. Beckham faced a brutal witch hunt that lasted for months, but he did not let it affect his performance on the pitch. He returned to Manchester United, where he found support from his manager Sir Alex Ferguson his teammates and the fans. He focused on his game and proved his critics wrong with his brilliant displays. Beckham played a key role in United's historic treble winning season in 1998-99, scoring nine goals and providing 18 assists in all competitions. He scored crucial goals against Tottenham, Arsenal and Juventus and delivered two corners that led to Teddy Sheringham and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's dramatic late goals against Bayern Munich in the Champions League final. Beckham had gone from hero to villain and back to hero again in less than a year. He showed his character and resilience by bouncing back from the backlash and silencing his haters. He later said that the red card was the worst moment of his career, but also one that made him mature very quickly. It was a defining moment in his life and legacy.